Dragon Slayer. It looks pretty much like the uh, starting screen on the arcade. Albeit different colors, of course. A lot more gloomy in this one. I do remember in the arcade game it's a lot more brighter. More yellow. Same music! Long ago in a distant kingdom, a good king named... Uh, came named uh, Athelred ruled a peaceful and prosperous kingdom. Now his kingdom has many treasures, but its greatest was the king's only child, whose beauty had become a legend to stir the heart of many a brave knight. They came from afar to seek fair Daphne's hand in marriage, but her heart was given to another. Dirk the Daring, the king's champion and most honored knight. Then, one dark and terrible day came, an evil dragon named Singe, who demanded the king hand over all his kingdom to him. When Athelred refused, the dragon seized the fair Daphne, the king's daughter, and imprisoned her inside a crystal ball within the dark and horrible dungeon of his castle. Singe then sent Athelred this message. Relinquish your kingdom before the sun sets, or your beloved Daphne will perish. Hathelred's kingdom was plunged into deep despair for all of Daphne. But Dirk, who knew no fear, valiantly vowed that he would free his maiden, or else he would die in the attempt. Control Dirk's movements as you guide him on his quest to rescue fair Daphne. All Singe's dark forces are massed against you as you set on your way. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Okay. So, let's go for it. That's all there is. Space for high score. Fire to start. Let's go! Dirt the Daring! Now right away I fall and die. Okay. So that's the death screen. Pretty much how, how it works in the arcade. I got four lives left. Okay, made it. <laughs> I know that there's gonna be wind. I've seen a video of this game. So I remember this first level. Okay, let's try this again. I know what to do, I know. Stay center and run against the wind, I know. I am good at these kind of games, puzzle games. I know how to figure things out. Just the controls are a little... Figuring out the controls are a little... It's the controls that are against me right now. <sighs> it's not a bad game, I have to say. I like the animation and the graphics. But whoo boy, is it difficult. But then again, the arcade game is difficult too, right? Bro? Why can't he sprout wings and fly? It would be so much easier. Yeah, I kind of gathered that that I have failed. I wasn't expecting... Uh, uh, I really wasn't expecting that music there. You know, that was the... Uh, and the sorcerer's the apprentice. Apprentice music. I wasn't expecting that. Escape from Singe's Castle. 
Durek the Daring, now an honored and noble hero in the again prosperous and peaceful kingdom of King Athelred, has decided to return to the scene of his greatest triumph, the realm of Dragon's Lair. Once more he has to face many wicked and evil foes, many of whom have crowned grown even more cunning in his absence. Vile creatures compete with each other in an awful battle for supremacy, but they are united in their hatred of all things good. Into this kingdom enters one more Arnuro. You must guide him, using all of your skill and ingenuity to both collect unimaginable wealth for his fair Daphne and then escape from this desperate and dangerous place. Into the battle, brave knight! Your quest awaits. Dragon Slayer 2, Trainer, huh? Skip the Trainer part, thank you. Broken Impact by TNT, okay, software project scheme. Music by Rob Hubbard. Nice. I remember, I, have a, I had a program on the Amiga that had lots of uh, different Commodore 64 music, and on that program there was the soundtrack for Dragon Slayer 2. No wonder this music sounded so familiar. Ye old boulders. Okay. Looks like we are on a sewage grate. I know it should be a boat, but it looks like a freaking sewage gate. Yep. Yep. No! Damn it. Reacted to the wrong side. Okay, let's try that again. Gotta be fast with the reactions. Yep. Good. Come on. No! I pushed right! I pushed to right! <sighs> Juke, what did I tell you that I, you don't need to tell me how things are how things work? I am good at puzzle games and reaction games. It doesn't take a freaking brainer to know how these controls work. Like that. Oop. <sighs> I'm really not good at reaction games today. I played Aztec Challenge when I started, and I was really bad at that, too. Couldn't get past the first stage on that one. Really not a good night for reactions, apparently. Because it's so slow today. It's the last one that some that, that doesn't. Uh, <sighs> we go again. Oh, come on. I pushed left. Man. It's not a bad game, I'm just not up for reaction games. Totally not up for them. Usually I'm not bad at reaction times, but th tonight I am really bad at them. I guess I just don't have the energy to concentrate on such things. 
I hear the sound. Impure C sixty four glory. Jaws. The Jaws doesn't look like a shark there, it looks more like a bullet. Terror begins. I think we're gonna need another bigger boat. Hammerhead shark, apparently, and, and then there's the great white. Not really a tiger shark, then one of those, I think. Hey, Maria! Please enter disk side 2, press the turn when you're ready. Okay! Um. Uh huh. Uh, it's a simulation type of game. Our ship is 55 feet, 24 fuel, ranging 600, no damage on it. We got 10,000 bucks. Got no harpoons, no spears, no food. Um, where are we located right now? At the, the Bar Harbor in. Main. Okay. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing here. So, go to carry the location. Maybe I can go shopping? Bar Harbor, Maine. No messages. We're gonna go to the down hall, repair port to general store or telegraph. Let's go to the general store. Ahoy, Captain, what would you be care to buy? Let's see, we need... I can even hire a crew! Huh. Okay. So what we mostly need is food and... They buy sharks, so we go hunting for sharks and come back here and they can... Man, there's a lot of stuff you can buy. This seems like a food by the day. How much is this then? It's the same thing. And there's ammo. High powered rifle. Okay. Attend Shark Hunter School. Skill select for a s schedule. Scuba outfit by the set. Explosive. Spear gun with explosive spear arrows. Yeah, that makes sense. Got some rope. Harpoons, harpoons, harpoons. Harpoons are expensive. Man. I'll buy one rope. That'll be good enough. A spear gun. Lots of spears. Scuba outfit. Uh, yeah, let's take the rifle. Lots of ammo for it. Because it's a rifle, rifle after all. Do it. Lots of food. 
because I don't know what the consumption rate is in the game. At least two harpoons. Let's take three. Then some barrels. Maybe some more fuel. Really? 100 fuel for one drum. So I pretty much wasted some money there. Uh, I got enough food. Well, we, we got all the fuel we can get. I think that's all that we need for now. Maybe I'll buy some more harpoons. I mean, spears. That'll do. I'll go with what I've have what I have right now. So let's exit. Well, we could go to the telegraph office and see what's up. I said we go to the telegraph and see what's up. Due to unrest in Central America, higher tolls have been levied at the Panama Canal. Oh great, it's gonna cost more to get through the Panama Canal. Great. Well, that's good to know. Um... I guess that's all there is. Let's exit. Let's visit the, the town hall. Just to see what's there. Beach closed. We are offering a bounty of 50,000 to remove the Great White off our beach. 50,000! Let's go hunt some great whites. Should have at least one crew member to leave fort. So I should get myself a uh, crew member. Right. Let's go to the tour and get ourselves a crew member because the game said that I should do that hire a crew Beep. almost out of money so better get the, after that the stupid shark so we got three harpoons 12 spears 50 food not that much money left fueled up and ready to roll. So we're ready to roll. Seems to be a deeper game than the NES Jaws. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Out to sea. So let's see what it likes what it's like to go onto the ocean. Damn it, I missed the message! I didn't read it! No, keep going east. Because if we go to the west, we are gonna go back to the, uh... How about the shark chart? What does it say? Oh, it just shows... How much we have killed. The Great White looks really black. Our status is... It's pretty good.
No sign of sharks in this direction. Well, let's go north. To the north we go. Let's go medium speed. Hmm. There's gotta be sharks somewhere. I wonder if I look at the map. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Out to see. This is a lot more complicated game than the uh, NES version. Definitely. Off the coast of Bar Harbor. May, that's what it said. Let's go west. Still nothing. Not a goddamn thing. We go south, and apparently we've already we traveled two miles per few seconds. Great white off the bow. Full stop. Sign of it. So do I do I put these on or what do I do? I have no idea how this controls. Let's just easily go around here. Come on. Did we lose the shark? Which weapon to use? Use harpoon. No ropes left. Okay. Uh, how do I cancel? How do I cancel? How do I cancel? Oh, space. Well. Well, that failed. Should have gotten more rope. Didn't realize that I would need more rope. At least we saw some action. <coughs> Gotta be some more around here somewhere. Come on, no sign of sharks. Damn it. Come on, where do the sharks go? Well, so did they go? At least it would be nice to see the white and great white again, because that's the uh, bounty. No sharks in this direction. Let's go back south. Seem to be in that direction they all are. Come on, shark. Sharky, sharky, sharky. Go north. Sharky, sharky, sharky. 
Come on, little shark. Or big shark, rather. Come out, come out, wherever you are. We are going to find you. Then we're going to shoot you. And get the bounty. I guess it doesn't like my uh, annoying voice. Come on, yo, shark. Get over here. Let's go. We've traveled 230, no, for almost, no, 240 nautical miles. Still nothing. Still nothing. No sharks. What a big surprise. No sharks in this direction. Not a big surprise. How did I guess? Let me guess again. No sharks. And no sign of sharks. This is one boring game. Nothing happens. Full speed ahead. Let's put some speed on it. See if we can fight them faster. No sharks? Any sharks? No sharks. How about here? Sharks. Any sharks? No sign. How about this way? If I don't find any sharks soon, I'm gonna give up on the game. Definitely gonna give up on the game. <sighs> Come on, just one shark. Give us one shark. Please, just one more shark. Just one freaking shark! Come on! I'm begging here! Come on. Give me a shark. Give me a shark. Give me a shark. Shark, 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 shark. Shark, 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 shark. Give me a goddamn shark! Hey, Cass. Shark. 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 That's it. Done. Nope. Boring. 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 Another movie license game gone, gone down the drain. Pun intended. Kennedy Approach by Andy Hollis, also from Micropose. Crusade in Europe, F-15 Strike Goggle, which I played. MIG, Al MIG, MIG Allies, which I've played. Solo Flight, which I think I've played. Software Speech Systems. Really? This uses the speech system? Well... If something uses the speech system, I will play it. Because I love it. Everybody loves the uh, Commodore 64 speech system, after all. Micropro Software presents Kennedy Approach. So this is uh, some kind of um, airfield control system stuff thing. They really loved their flying simulators, didn't they? Micropro did. 
making all those dog dog fight type of stuff and all kinds of flight simulators even all the way up to PC gaming they made all kinds of flight simulators and they still do they still do have you also seen all the kind of simulators that been coming out lately I mean I saw there's a been all those Euro trucks and then there's the farming and some other kind of simulators that I I saw I just saw the names and I'm like really you really are making simulators like that why won't they make something more ludicrous and fun like they have goat simulator and I am bread and uh, some other other stuff it would be nice to see a simulation game about tax evasion that would be fun evade the IRS or you lose your money and you'd have to do it in the most ludicrous ways, like a Home Alone type of a game, except it's against the IRS. <laughs> and yes, the game is still loading. Okay, rating is GS7, salary 12,000, job offers to Atlanta or Dallas for... Uh -huh. Your choice. I'll take Atlanta. Moving to Atlanta. Okay. Um. What am I supposed to do? Expecting that. Actually, let's turn them uh, this way. Delta seven zero one. Turn left to one three five at four thousand feet. Roger. They're gonna start their approach, so let's American make them. Eight zero two, head zero zero zero, descend to three thousand feet. Roger. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I I don't understand nautical stuff. No, I mean, this is not even nautical, but aerial. American eight zero two, turn left. To three, one, five, descend to Turn two, faster, five, you're gonna hit the freaking radio tower. Roger. Delta seven zero one. Turn right to one eight zero at four thousand feet. Roger. American eight zero two, turn left to two seven zero at two thousand feet. Roger. I guess I've. I guess I'm doing okay here, although I shouldn't let them descend. American eight zero two, head two seven zero, descend to one thousand feet. Roger. I really have no idea what I'm doing here. But I hope I'm doing good. I hope. Because I have no idea what all these numbers and everything mean. Ah, 
I don't care if they're going to Bellstone or something, they're going to Atlanta now. I don't care. <laughs> I Seriously, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing here. American 802, head 270, cleared for landing. Roger. How do you even? Yeah, I know. How do you even know where they're supposed to go? How are you even supposed to know? Is it the destination is A that means that they're supposed to go to Atlanta? It's like alphabetical. United one zero five. Turn left to three one five at five thousand feet. Roger. Delta seven zero one. Turn right to three one five at four thousand feet. Roger. So these guys are supposed to go to Atlanta. Okay. United one zero five. Head three one five. Descend to Delta seven zero one. Turn right to three one five at four thousand feet. Roger. United one zero five. Head three one five. Descend to two thousand feet. Roger. United one zero five. Head three one five delta seven zero one. Turn right to zero 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 at four thousand feet. Roger. United one zero five. Turn left to two seven zero. Descend to one thousand feet. Roger. United one zero five. Head two seven zero cleared for landing. Roger. I think I'm doing good. I really have no idea. But I hope I'm doing good. Let's hope that the F lands safely. Delta seven zero one. Head zero zero zero. Descend to three thousand feet. Roger. Come on, land. Please. Please make this work for me. Please tell me I did good. Yes. I'm sure I did good. So this is uh, just a, uh, you know... The flight control seven, seven, simulator. Zero, one, not bad, left, not bad. Two, three, I can see one, that this can be five, entertaining for a long while. Roger. It really isn't bad, and the sound system is uh, always awesome to hear, so that's really good. Adds more fun to the game. Delta seven zero one. Turn left to two seven zero. Descend to two thousand feet. Roger. Let's just wait until it's close enough so we I can tell it to land. Clear for landing. Delta 701, head 
two seven zero cleared for landing. Roger. So I can see what you mean about the emergency procedures. They will run out of fuel and such. Oh, I can send p send planes up as well. I'll just wait until the bee has uh, landed, then I will send A on its way. American 900, zero, zero, head 270, zero, climb to 4,000 feet. Roger. It's kind of an interesting game, I have to say. Having to control a whole freaking United control three, tower. Zero, nine, head zero, 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 descend to four thousand feet. Roger. And also, I should send the sea back away so they can go to their rightful destination of Washington instead of being in Atlanta, which is the wrong place for them to be. United three zero nine, turn left to three one five at four thousand feet. Roger. American eight zero two, head two seven zero, climb to five thousand feet. Roger. So this one's going to Boston. So I should send it back up that way. American eight zero two, turn right to zero four five, climb to four thousand feet. Roger. United three zero nine, turn left to two seven zero, descend to three thousand feet. Roger. United 309, turn left to 225, descend to 1000 feet. Roger. American 802, turn right to 09. Oh! That's my evaluation. From up to GS8. Salary 1000. Career toll. Hey! Cool! I did it! Yay! I did it! I landed two planes. Got a promotion. Woo! That was fun. I think I'll play this uh, later on my own, maybe. I don't think this is much too much excitement to watch. On a stream. But still, it's a good game. I like it. It's a very interesting game. I like simulation games. 